Good morning, everybody. The Rev here. It's time for a cup of coffee with Jesus. I hope you're doing well this morning. I was just reading in the Proverbs this morning. I love the Proverbs. The Proverbs just tell us how we should respond to some things and how we should uh, conduct our lives in some areas. Well, all areas, really. But one of the ones that I read this morning was Proverbs 18, 13. He who gives an answer before he hears, it is folly and shame to him. Uh, one of the other translations talked about, you know, gathering the facts. Uh, and that's really, that's just a really good thing that we tend to, I've done it many times myself, we tend to do that as humans. We just, we hear something and we just respond to it without hearing all of it. I uh, I, I tell my children this sometimes too. It's like, did you, what, what about this? What about this? What about this? We, we ask them more questions to uh, get the whole picture and then sometimes we have to tell them, say, well, maybe you didn't understand that completely. Not that I'm discounting what they're saying, but it's our job as parents. It's our jobs as, as individuals, as the body of Christ, to gather all of it before we start speaking to it. I've been uh, in situations where uh, uh, I found out later on that people were speaking to something before they even had all the facts. It reminded me. <laughs> it reminded me of a friend of mine was talking about, he lives out in the, out in the country like I do, and it's right at the edge of the city. And he had the, the people in their community were all, were all up in arms because this guy had uh, filed a some kind of whatever court filing to change something on a property that used to be a, uh, a, a horse farm. I mean, they raised horses, a horse ranch. So they... My friend asked him, he said, they were going to have this town hall meeting. They're going to see because we didn't want him doing whatever he's going to do. He's going to bring, the guy owned a, a, a pipeline. They make parts for pipelines. But he wasn't going to, he was going to put another unit like that up there. But it was going, he was going to have a nice pond, a nice walking trail that went around his property. It was going to be really nice. Nicer than the abandoned horse ranch. It would have been nicer. But the people were up in arms because he was trying to change it from agricultural to commercial so he could put his uh, one of his buildings up there and make it nice. But the people in the community didn't even go bother to find out what he was going to do. They just assumed by, by what they saw in the court filings and him wanting to change it that he was going to put this big industrial complex there and it would be ugly. And the truth was he was going to make something really nice. So... He even decided, he goes, well, you know what? I won't do that. I'll keep an ag and I'll just put a pig farm next to you. <laughs> next to your nice your big homes there. Nice big homes. You can just live next to a pig farm because it's agricultural. And that's within my ability to have whatever I want agricultural on that piece of property. So us as humans, not finding out all the facts before we start speaking to something is what it says. It is folly and it's shame to him. You know, I that picture, when I read this this morning, that instantly that picture of that property came to my mind. And it's now still just a big, uh, the guy put a sign up that soon, coming soon, such and such pig farm, but he's not going to do that. But he made those people think. And my friend, he said, you know, when he went and talked to the guy and then he brought it to the their little council meeting, he said, you know, the guy wants to make something nice. Maybe you ought to just invite him here and hear his heart and hear everything about it. They didn't want to hear it because they'd already given their answer before they had heard. So as you go throughout the day to day, just think about what have I responded to before hearing the facts? What have I responded to before hearing both sides? What have I responded to before, and I gave my answer to even, before I'd even heard what was really going on. Food for thought today. Hope you guys do well. And remember, as always, always, Jesus loves you, I love you, and there's absolutely nothing you could do about it. Have a great day. Not practicing your folly and have it be in shame to you, but give your answer after you've heard it all. See you soon. Goodbye.